What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Look, this week, something a little different. We're gonna cook some deer backstrap. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. I'm gonna show you how to smoke it where you don't have to do anything. You're not wrapping it in bacon. You're not stuffing it with something. You're not taking a whole bunch of time to get this guy ready. You can put him on there and you can go. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you how to do it. Expecting that. Arise, kill, and eat. That's exactly what we did. So, the first thing, first step, right, is to get a deer. Last night, look, I was fortunate enough to get me a big old fat white tailed doe um, right here in North Louisiana. And she's been soaking in the Yeti all night in ice and salt water. A little bit of a brine, kind of break some of that blood down, break a little bit of that meat, the, the muscle down and all that kind of stuff, make it even more tender than it already is. But we're going to get started with it. Look, this thing, super simple. Start with your back straps. I've already cleaned them and gotten rid of all the silver skin. It's gone because that, if we all know one thing, silver skin is what makes these things tough. Let's see here. There, there's the piece we after. And I cut them in half too, because cutting them in half makes them a little bit easier to deal with. They fit in, fit in this bowl a lot better. But we're gonna make a quick marinade. So this guy is gonna marinate for like 20 minutes. I don't want to lose the flavor of wild game. I'm not trying to get rid of the deer flavor. I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm not trying to mask anything. I just wanna put a little bit of something into it. And this right here. Guys, if you haven't tried this stuff, it's fantastic. No, they don't pay a dime. No, they're not a sponsor. But this is a buddy of mine out of Key West who, when all the mess went down with, with that ugly C word, started a sauce business instead of being a fishing guide. And let me tell you, he's got it, the W sauce. But we're just gonna pour, pour that over this. You'll notice it's thicker than like Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna put it over that. I'm gonna make sure, rub it all the way around it so that it gets all over the tops, bottoms, all that kind of good stuff. And we're just gonna let this Soak, sit, soak, however you want to put it for about 20 minutes. I'm also going to add a little bit more of pickling juice. That vinegar will just help reinforce breaking down, making it even more tender than it already is. Not a lot, but look, that's, you want to know what you do with leftover pepper juice and all that kind of stuff? Use it to help you marinate. So it don't matter what kind of peppers. These are pepperoncinis. You can use jalapenos. You can use dill pickles. Use whatever you want to. We're just after the vinegar to help break the meat down. While this is soaking, I'm gonna put a lid over it in case any unruly flies wanna come out here and mess with us. But while this is sitting there doing its thing, you can even shake it up, get it all over if you want to, I'm gonna light the pit boss. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna light the pit boss. We're gonna turn it just on to smoke, which on mine, I have set at like 225. And we're gonna let it get to temperature while this is doing that. That way, when we get ready to do the next step, all we gotta do is go put it on the pit boss. So. Let's turn on the pit boss. All right, we got the pit boss turned on. I got it on 225 because that's the temperature I want to smoke this guy at. We got the lid open. We're just waiting to see smoke, which, look at there. Unlike Cy believes, look, I'll be honest, where there is smoke, there is fire. Once you get smoke, just come like this. Close her down. She'll get to temperature. By the time she gets to temperature, our meat will be done marinating and then we'll put the finishing touches on it before it leaves the pan and goes to the grill. All right, so our smoker, almost ready, it's at 220. It's been about 20 minutes. Um, time to take our meat out and we're gonna put the final touches on it. So it's been soaking, a little quick marinade and some vinegar and the W sauce. And now we're gonna take it out. You can see that sauce has coated it all over. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use just a little bit of mustard, not much. The mustard, I'm saying why you put mustard on red meat? I'm just using the mustard as a binder. So that's just a little bit, just a little light strip down it for my, for my seasonings. So you just rub that mustard in nice thin, get a good glaze over it. 
make sure you get it on both sides. Flip that over, get you a little more mustard. Again, the mustard is simply a binder for your seasonings. So you don't you don't want to put a lot, don't need to. It's gonna be nice and tacky. I got this idea because you know a lot of rib recipes call for this to use mustard as your binder because they generally ain't got just a ton of fat for your seasoning to adhere to. So for my base layer, hardcore carnivore, y'all seen me talk about this stuff for again. Stuff I like, not stuff I get paid to use, guys. This camo seasoning is really, really, really good. And we're just gonna lightly cover it. Just get a good little dusting all over the back strap. You see, I'm going, the wind got me on that one, so. And that's gonna be my base layer is the camo. Then I'm gonna finish it with a little Meat Church Voodoo. Why am I putting the Meat Church Voodoo? Because I want the heat. The Meat Church Voodoo's got a little uh, jalapeno in it. A um, little dried jalapeno, so it's going to give the meat just a little bit of heat along with a little bit of sugar. It doesn't have a whole lot of sugar in it, so it kind of gets you good and tacky. Take that guy. They are rubs. They are seasonings, so when they say rub, they mean it. Rub it in. Make sure it gets in your meat. Make sure it sticks there. Everything's good. And do the same thing on the other side. So I've already got the mustard on. We're going to put a little light, light dab of camo on it. I'm having to play the wind like a golfer. And then same deal again. We're gonna put a little of the Meat Church Voodoo on it. Get that spice in there. Get that dried jalapeno on there. Not much. You don't wanna, you don't wanna kill the essence of what venison is. Rub it in. And now she's ready to go. We're only gonna smoke her for roughly one hour at 225. We're going to smoke her. The biggest thing though, get you a meat thermometer. We're going to smoke her till internally she hits one, somewhere between 120 and 125. And then we're going to pull it. So that by that time your rub and seasoning and everything should be nice and tacky. Um, and then we'll take it out. We're going to sear it. We're going to still sear it on the pit boss. We're going to open up the flame. We're going to open up the center. We're gonna put a little sear on the outside of it for quickly, not long. And then we're gonna let it rest. It should rest up to like 130, which will be uh, a nice medium rare in the middle. The edges will be a little more done. And that way you got something you can serve everybody. If you like medium well, you eat the edges. If you like medium rare, you eat the middle. Crowd pleasing. So, but every one of them is different. Get you a meat thermometer. Make sure you don't go past 125 for sure. All right, our smoker is ready. So now, we're just gonna put the meat on and we're gonna close the lid. Because like all them people that smoke meat say, if you looking, you ain't cooking. So we ain't gonna look. We ain't gotta worry about that. But, here we go. Let's get these babies on there. Boom. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. Come on now, quit messing around. There we go. And now, close the lid. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna mess with him. But we're gonna let him go till he gets like 120, 125 internal. Then we're gonna pop the lid off. We're gonna sear him real quick and he will be good to go. We're gonna slice him up and we're gonna show you just how good these things are. All right, they hit internal, they've been seared. It is now time to remove our beautiful back straps. Thank you. Thank you. Also, while y'all weren't looking, I have put some beautiful deer sausage on here too. Because, well, who doesn't like sausage? Kind of the way I feel about it. Ooh. Now y'all probably got used to hearing me refer to Hunter. Hunter gone. We drove him in ministry. So me and Clint are about to eat fine as wine. Golly. I got my brand new Duck Commander Rosewood Block cutting board. Folks, just look at how beautiful that is. 
Let's make sure I don't drop this thing. Because that show would be a waste, wouldn't it? Folks, look, look. The dog gets a piece of sausage. Dude, but look how pretty that is. Now let's let it rest, and we're going to slice it up and eat it. Wow, that's resting. Let's try the sausage. Oh, hot. Oh, hot. So hot. Why did I do that? So it's good, though. Mmm. That's fine. That's real fine there. Mm. I'm going to try to make it. Or hopefully, if I show it to y'all, we don't lose it. Mmm. Okay. Look at that. The meat is resting. Look how beautiful it is. Look at the meat butter it's about to pour out of there. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Now see what that's going to do. If y'all are looking at this cutting board thinking, man, I'd like to have one of these. You can't. Now, our friends over at Rosewood Block have started making some with our logos and stuff on. But look how cool that is. I call it meat butter. I don't know what the technical term for it is. See it dripping down? Normally, that'd get all over your table, right? Not today. Because it has a grease groove all the way around it. And it's going to catch that, so it makes cleanup a breeze. But... A good chef don't ever say, you know, that's it, we're done. We got to try it. And we're about to try it right now. And y'all are going to get to see the first look at it. Let's slice that in, dog. I'm more of a middle kind of guy, but we're going to slice that in. Oh, my. Look how beautiful. For the end piece, when it's got that much pink in it, that means that right in there is going to be right as rain. You hear me? So now we're going to cut the end off of that. And we're going to try it. My goodness gracious. How in the world are deer still alive? Mm. Unbelievable. Well, folks, that's it. Easy smoke backstrap, whole backstrap, no wrapping, no stuffing, none of that. It is delicious. It's tender. Look how beautiful the color of that is right there. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look, if you like this video, you want to see more like it, all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate you guys checking out our YouTube channel. It's almost duck season. It's almost the best time of year. You're about to see a lot more hunting stuff out of us. Until then, eat well, friends. We're out.